So Diamond Eyes originally was released in 2010. However, because, you know, weird times, anyways, on the anniversary, they kind of just re-released the album and held like a, a listening party. Yes, that's a thing now on the internet. In case you've not noticed, Diamond Eyes is a sixth studio album released by Deftones. Now this is the first album to feature the bassist um, Sergio Vega from Quicksand, a New York post-hardcore band. And whilst, you know, he's a really good bassist and all, it's quite unfortunate circumstances as to what led to this sort of scenario. Kind of a worst case sort of scenario, I guess, much like the times that we live in, am I right guys? Their then bassist, Chi Chang, was unfortunately involved in a car accident, this is in 2008, which put him into a semi-comatose state. Later on in 2013, he died due to a cardiac arrest. Now, Prior to the car accident, Deftones were working on Eros with Chi Chang, obviously, but they had kind of had to stop that. And since then, it's been shelved, it's been just put on the back burner, basically. Forgotten about, well, not forgotten, but like, you know what I mean? Like, they're no longer doing it. They've never released it, which I respect them for that, you know what I mean? Like, it's a tragic circumstance, but I don't know. At the same time, I. I want to hear more of it, but as Gina Moreno said in an entry on Beats 1 Radio, it was sort of a rebirth of us as a band for sure. Now Diamond Eyes, I love as an album. I think it's really good. I, I don't think it's fantastic, but considering the circumstances in which this album was created, I think, like, fair enough. I think it was good. There are songs in this album that work for me, and then there's songs in this album that just don't work for me. And one, and, and one of those songs that just do not work for me is Royal. I feel like it's way too cathartic, too much going on. I can't really enjoy Chino Moreno's vocals, which is what I particularly enjoy. It's one of those components of Deftones music all throughout the years that I've just, I, I always love his voice. And then I don't like the song Sex Tape as well. I think it's too bland. Um, there's not much going on. You know, you see too much going on in one song and then not very much going on in one song. So it's like, I feel like with a lot of Deftones songs, it's one or the other I, it's very rarely an in-between although a good balance is attained in songs like diamond eyes obviously you know it's the title of the album so you would expect that it has to be good you've seen the butcher beauty school risk and seven oh no sorry 976 evil particularly loved beauty school i think beauty school is just so like it just draws you in it's just so so charming as a song. I don't know how to explain it. I love those strings. Chino's vocals are incredible in it as well. And Risk. I love his vocals on Risk. And Rocket Skates. I love Rocket Skates. I feel like Rocket Skates is a good cathartic song. And so is um, Command Control. Command Control is brilliant. Especially um, the drum kind of string part. Like just it, it actually just goes all throughout the song. Does it? Yeah it does. And I really particularly love the bass line in the song Prince. Just like, I just feel like there's times where like, they can reach that full potential, right, as a band. Especially Gina Moreno, his vocals. I feel like a lot of times he's holding himself back. Because I feel like his vocals on a really good song, I guess, can actually sound a little bit like, um... Now, I'm really bad with comparisons, so bear with me, okay? Um, in case you disagree with this comparison, but he kind of sounds, reminds me of, not sounds like, reminds me of a little bit of Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. Um, particularly on their 1990, I think it is, um, facelift album, just certain, certain parts, just certain, okay? I think it's just because um, of the weepy vocals, like Chino Moreno's vocals can sound quite weepy at times and just they both share clarity in their vocals. I know Lane Staley was primarily a grunge musician and you know part of grunge is to like not articulate I guess. I'm a big fan of Alice in Chains so I would, I might do that next week actually. I might do um, an album review of an Alice in Chains. I might do facelift actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So that's pretty much the whole album, really. I would probably uh, give this album three and a half stars out of five, just because it's there. I just think the 
execution could be better at times but overall as an album especially considering the circumstances in which this album was made it's pretty good it's pretty impressive to be honest make sure to turn on your notifications so that you know when i'm posting make sure to subscribe and go ahead and follow me on instagram multi.vibe i'll see you next week